Now I'm on my way to meet a doctor with a revolutionary idea. Let's say you're suffering from liver disease. What if you could just grow a new one? At the University of Pittsburgh, a doctor is taking the first step into a future where the human body's potential to regrow is fulfilled. He spent his life fighting for patients with liver disease. And his name is Eric Lagasse. So, Doc, in this country, I know that more than 100,000 people a year end up with end-stage liver disease. Yeah, every year, 100,000 people will show up in a hospital and diagnosed with end-stage liver disease. We have 16,000 people waiting for liver transplant, and you have only 6,000 which will be transplanted. 10,000 patients hanging out there in critical condition. What's going to happen to them? Well, if they're too sick, they will be removed from the waiting list, and eventually they will die. When patients have a totally broken liver, you have to regenerate liver cells and liver function. And that's a complex problem. I was not looking for incremental progress. I was looking for the big jump. Eric isn't trying to grow an organ outside the body. His focus is getting a new liver to grow inside. I know that sounds insane, but your body is perfectly capable of accommodating a whole new organ. But how do you get a new organ to grow? Eric has spent the past decade trying to figure that out by taking mice suffering from liver failure and injecting them with healthy liver cells. But his experiments did nothing to stop the mousy massacre. So how many places did you try that it didn't work? A lot. <laughs> I'm sure. We tried to put them under the skin. The animal died. We tried the kidney. Did the animal die? In the spleen. Did the animal die? We spent many years trying different ways, and suddenly one day found out that there are one unique location in the body where you can actually regenerate your liver. That's what we call the Eureka moment. Let's go in the lab and I'll show you. I'll show you some of the liver cells that we have. So Eric was taking these healthy liver cells and injecting them into the dying mice. For 10 years, nothing happened. Then, in what almost seems like a pathetic last-ditch effort, he just dumped the cells into the belly. We try another place where we thought it would never work, and it was basically the abdominal cavity. We basically transplanted the cells there, injected the cells there. In the belly, around all the organs? Yes, basically in the belly, a simple injection of cells. Weeks went by, and these mice kept living. And those mice didn't die, which means those cells somehow grew up to be able to supply the function of a real liver. That must have been shocking. It was very, very, very surprising. And the next question was, what exactly happened? They must have done something to make liver function again. And the, the big question is how? Did they migrate back into the liver and, and repair the liver? Or did they migrate somewhere else and did something Sort of magical. And the answer is? The magic. <laughs> the liver cells had migrated to dozens of lymph nodes, tiny glands throughout your body. Normally, lymph nodes act as incubators, growing immune cells to fight infections. When Eric's liver cells showed up, one out of every 10 lymph nodes happily hosted them. And what we did here, basically, bring now liver cells in this environment and basically show that, uh, well, liver cells are also happy, like these immune cells, and they can produce a lot, and they can do something even more extraordinary. They can regenerate a liver. The liver cells took over their lymph node hosts and turned them into little livers. Then, these organs started to grow. The cells, as they grow into this mini liver, will grow and grow and grow until they reach the size of a liver. And then they stop growing. And now make the work of what the liver was supposed to do. Incredible. When you seize the opportunity to open up that animal and see that this had happened, I bet you didn't sleep that night. No, yeah, I didn't sleep. If I had made this incredible discovery, I wouldn't be sleeping at night either. So, Doc, I used to think the next really big, incredible opportunity is when you could grow a whole organ and then have it available for a surgeon to implant it. I think what you just said is, don't bother with that step. Why grow the organ outside and have to implant it? Let nature do the whole job the way it did the first time when you were born. Just take a few of these cells, 
put them in your body and let your body manufacture the whole organ right where it belongs and eliminate the need for the surgeon. We have a complete liver function recreated somewhere else in the body. So we have the roadmap here. Put the cell there, and at the end of the process, voila, you know, you have the organ. Think about it. Today, your doctor tells you you have end-stage liver disease. Essentially, your life is over. If all of what Eric is doing works, your doctor's going to tell you your liver stopped functioning. Come by my office in the morning. We're going to inject your belly with some new cells. They'll build themselves into a new liver. You'll be fine. That's astounding.